Yeah, I'm now joined by Ben Shadrach from the Shakespeare Super Team. Um, I just wonder how, how he's done. Uh, just looking at his face, uh, he, he's got a bit of a smile, so maybe maybe he's, he's done all right. So, Ben, um, how's it gone? Um, I've had two kilo 300. Um, I've been in G section, I think, um, which, which was actually really good. Um, it was about top five in that um, in, in the whole 50, so I was pleased with that. Um, I've had two kilo 300. Um, straight away, I've, I've started fishing for a few big uns and caught like a pound perch, and then an eight ounce skimmer. Did you get, what, did you, what did you catch the pound perch on? And what sort of bait would you have used for that? Uh, I just well, I was against boats, so I've, I've fished against the boats, um, and I've had I've had it on worm. Just I just fed some worms and casters, uh, went straight on, and it buried a pound perch. So um, yeah, I was happy. And then, um, and then I, ca I carried on fishing. I caught a few more, and then just got my head down and fish for, fish for gudgeon. And how many how many gudgeon roughly you reckon you uh, you actually put in the net? Because gudgeon are my favourite species, mainly because they're the only thing I can catch. But you know, and growing up on this sort of Strops Union in Langoth, and gudgeon got you out of jail. So how many gudgeon did you get? Yeah, um, I probably caught about 150 gudgeonish. Um, there wasn't that many there to be caught, so I've had to really try hard for them. Um, I, I caught on worms straight away, so it kind of let me settle a bit, um, and then I just fished for gudgeon until the end. But there weren't a lot of bites come the last hour or two. It was quite, um, it was quite difficult. What about sort of hook, hook size, uh, line strength, that sort of thing? For anybody watching this who maybe is new to canal fishing, um, what would you advise on things like that? Um, well, today I've just fished a very simple rig, uh, 24 hook to an 08. 08 uh, main line to a um, an 06 hook length um, and standard like two to three elastic just catch anything that swims really on that it's brilliant and and just looking around at the atmosphere here i mean these yeah. the, you know I will, we'll say this i mean you must be one of the few anglers under the age of 25 here today <laughs> um and, and that's a bit of a shame. I mean, how do you think we can get more young people into fishing generally and match fishing in particular? Any thoughts on that? Um, I'm not so sure whether it's a case of getting them into match fishing. It's just a case of getting them onto um, fishing natural venues. Typically, you know, the Division One National is always on a natural venue, uh, River and Canal. Um, a lot of young people just want to go and catch carp and catch 150 plus weights. Um, instead of catching 150 goods in for three pounds, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think the, the more big matches, the more chance there are for kids to turn up and fish them, um, especially in that for D Division Two, where they're not so many all the all the top flight teams. Um, you obviously have to be quite privileged to fish the Division One. Exactly, and it was interesting that, that earlier today um, we we saw that. You know, un an unknown angler on a canal can actually, you know, quite comfortably beat an England international, and I, I think that's, you know, I think that's a good thing for the sport. The England internationals probably don't agree with that, but I think it's a great leveller. And if you, you know, focus on narrow canals, you you can you can become real expert on them. Yeah, well, um, well, the good thing about fishing is is very much a level playing field. Given the right peg and a little bit of luck, you know, you can beat anyone. Um, it just shows that anyone is beatable, even the best at the game. And in the team stakes, I know it's too early to say, um, uh, 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 how, did you get any gut feeling for how it might have gone? I don't know. I think, I mean, there's been two or three of us in like the top kind of five or six of the section. Uh, we've got some average results, got some lower end of the section results, but I think it's all about consistency and and it's um, who can get the most average points at the end of the day, especially on a venue like this. Exactly. I think, to be fair, I think the best team will win. They'll have had a little bit of luck. Um, we've got no idea at this stage. I mean, uh, I, you know, I, I've been out in a few sections and it's it's been hard to, hard to say. And maybe even one of the, you know, outsiders. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's one of the days when an underdog could come through and win. Um, but also, there's some very, very good teams here at the end of the day. So, um, you know, the likes of Dorkin and Starlitz, they're all hard to beat. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the final result. Indeed it will, and that's due um, around about 6.30, and we will be going live for that.
Ben, th it's been a pleasure. I'll let you get back to your teammates and um, fingers crossed that you get a, a well-deserved medal of some, of some colour.